I've uh, known Ellen's Willich, I guess first as a violinist, not as a composer at all. When I was 18, and she was probably a similar age, we both played in the American Symphony together with Leopold Stokowski. In fact, Ellen was a wonderful violinist, and I got to know her quite well. We were very close friends. She all actually produced one of the last recordings I ever made as a trumpet player. She wrote a trumpet quartet that I, when I was teaching at Juilliard, I had some of my students play. And I premiered a lot of pieces of hers over the years, and she's remained a dear friend all these years. So clearly when I was interested in asking composers I've known for a long time to write pieces for my last year as music director of the Seattle Symphony, I asked Ellen. The piece I wrote called Avanti is taken from a larger piece of mine called Fanfare, Reminiscence and Celebration, and that piece actually has 18 offstage brass players. So I um, compressed the score a bit, and I added a little bit of this and that to the um, fanfare movement. And I thought Avanti was really a good um, name for a piece for Jerry, because Jerry will be jumping into the next thing with, with both feet, you know. Avanti, move on, move on to the next chapter. Let's get going. And uh, that's how well she knows me. I'm against the idea of telling somebody, listen for this or listen for that. I prefer the open ear, the, um, the willing ear, it's sometimes called. You start a piece, now the curiosity should lead the listener, what's going to happen next? I'm writing a piece for orchestra, um, I always have a full score in front of me. Um, I do all my sketching on full score. Now maybe I'll change, I'll add an instrument or take one away or something, but um, I like to have the feeling of this whole orchestra sitting in front of me. Um, and now that I work on computer, it's not, um, I, still, I still do it that way, exactly. I, all my sketches are on the full score. I just love writing instrumental music and I love writing for orchestra um, because it's so, I mean I always say the orchestra is like a jellyfish, it's not a single organism. It's a collection of organisms that sort of magically work together and just the beauty of the way the, the jellyfish moves. And when you think about it, it's not one thing, but it, it registers as one thing. And that's that marvelous moment where everything sort of gels and um, the orchestra becomes one giant thing larger than you know, the sum of the parts. 